Unmanned aerial vehicles are an important part of security in any war zone. Like most aircraft, many need a runway to do their job. Engineers from the 375th and 31st Civil Engineering Squadron worked with Iraqi contractors to build the first paved UAV runway in Kalsu. Senior Master Sergeant Thomas Bathy lent his expertise to what he feels is a pivotal part of the drawdown. Uh, this kind of played into the right role, uh, me being uh, an asphalt uh, specialist for the last 21 years, so I volunteered to step up and help out. First Lieutenant Jonathan Daly has been involved in the project from day one. The runway has finally seen progress after a few rough patches. But, you know, we're getting the job done and uh, it takes some extra effort, especially in the, in the deployed setting. Overall, good project and hopefully a good product for the Army, the military, Air Force, everyone to use. The U.S. military has had various types of UAVs since the late 50s. Some typically operate on longer runways, but Bathy says it will still do the job. We're giving them the 1,700 feet that we're giving them is going to be right on the edge, but uh, I think it's more important to make sure that we're out there watching the roads uh, and keeping these soldiers and airmen and sailors and Marines safe as we head south out of this country. The UAVs at Cal Su are mainly used to combat the IED threat. With an extra eye in the sky, explosive ordnance teams will know when and where new IEDs are placed. Specialist David Graves, Cal Su.